veggie stuffed peppers. Yeah, a bit of Parmesan cheese on the top. Cut one in half, take a look inside, as, as we always do, because we want to look at the food before we taste it, right? Well, you need to look inside, like in the dating world. It's not just what's on the outside, you need to open right, it up and look on the inside. inside right. See? Welcome to Young Hollywood. Hey, Christian, why don't you have the same respect for these people that they do for you? Put the silverware down and behave like you belong in this kitchen and show these people the same respect they show you. I'm Oliver Trevina here at Mozza Osteria with the man himself behind it, Joe Bastianich. How are you, Oliver? I'm good. How are you? Welcome. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. I've been to this establishment before, and I'm not just saying it because the owner's sitting here, but it's actually gorgeous and it's lovely. How did this all start for you? This because you've got many restaurants. A friend, Nancy Silverton, who's a chef and quite a, a person, food personality here mm -hmm. in Los Angeles, wanted to open a restaurant, and she'd been friends with, with Mario through the years. And when we heard that she wanted to do something, we were immediately interested. And Beko was your first, right? That's right. Theatre District of Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Then I met Mario and we opened Babo. And uh, now we're 25 restaurants into it and going strong. Aside from the restaurants, you know, I get involved in other things. I make some wine and uh, we open this market and do a little bit of uh, judging of uh, food as well. So different aspects. Master Chef, mm -hmm. tell us more about that. That is really disappointing. You were on a great trajectory and I don't know where that leaves you, quite frankly. MasterChef is the search for culinary talent in America. You know, who's cooking great food at home? So these cooks who come in and compete are home cooks. They're not right. professional, right. they haven't been to cooking school. They bring a super high level of talent. They come from all over the country. And then through a series of challenges and cook-offs, cook we decide who the next MasterChef in America will be. And, and that person uh, wins a quarter million dollars and becomes wow. a MasterChef and becomes their own cookbook. Life-changing. It's a life-changing deal, yeah. What do you look for when you're tasting a dish? When I'm tasting a dish in, in the competition of MasterChef, I'm not only tasting a dish to find good food, but I'm looking for the contestant to be able to communicate through their food. Mm -hmm. so, so because the viewers are watching this at home, they need to be able to taste with their eyes. Right. And these cooks need to be, tell us a little bit about who they are and what their passion is through the dishes they create. Look at that inside a tip now. You've got a good shot at this 250 grand. Don't mess it up. Joe's give you a nice little tip. Take it. This is raw. Raw. Do you see this? Yeah. Raw. What, what, are you, what are you I thinking? What are you thinking food. about trying to serve us raw food? We're watching you cook. We're not idiots. And do you feel bad when you have to tell someone that their food sucks? No, because quite frankly, there's a lot of bad food out there, and right. it's my job to identify it. Do you find yourself doing that when you eat out at other restaurants? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a disaster. It's like an ongoing thing. For me, if I'm going out to eat, like I won't go to an Italian restaurant because I'm like too familiar with it. Right. So I'll go eat like Malaysian food or something that I'm not familiar with. Therefore, I can just kind of sit back, take it in and enjoy it more. You know, stick to foods that like you don't know. Your family's involved in My food. family's been in the food and wine business for many generations. My parents are Italian. They came here after the war and started opening up restaurants and that's all we do. An Iron Man. You just mentioned, I right. just overheard. Right, so yeah, we'll do a little endurance sports, marathon runner, and I'm doing my first uh, full Ironman, Kona World Championship, on October 8th, so I'll uh, get ready to do that. Love that. Yeah. What would be your last dish? If you, well, obviously, if you were dying tomorrow, which I'm not going to put out there. Right. I would probably have to be like maybe linguine with bongola, linguine with clams. Maybe I'll try linguine with clams and I'll let you know how it is. But unfortunately, I, I actually cooked a dish for you today. All right, I'll try it. What did you make? I made stuffed peppers. Ah, family recipe? My actual great-great-grandmother um, had a pepper farm. Ah. And on that farm cooked peppers and became famous for her stuffed peppers. So this is my dish to you. As I said, passed down through generations. Stuffed peppers. They're beautiful. Veggie stuffed peppers. Yeah, a bit of Parmesan cheese on the top. Cut one in half, take a look inside, as we always do, because we want to look at the food before we taste it, right? Well, you need to look inside, like yeah. in the dating world. It's not just what's on the outside, you need to open right, it up and look on the inside, inside right. see? Did you cook the vegetables separately before you stuffed them in the peppers? Yes. Ah. It has some nice kind of uh, veggie flavor to it. You know, you it definitely that takes the herb, good use of herbs, I have to say. You see the basil? It, that's it. Nice but, yeah. basil. Yeah, you, see, you know your stuff, didn't you? Not just a pretty face and the, uh, the onions, all the vegetables are cooked cooked well. It's a little bit... Um, Still learning. A little bit bland, maybe. Not, not terrible. Lovely. Yeah, good? Oh, very, very good. How would I, I do a MasterChef with that? Well... I'm just thinking about next season. Healthful food 
hasn't been that successful. I think that you might need to dirty this dish up a little bit and give it a little bit more fat. Maybe some ground pork mixed in with the orzo, a little bit of meat. I know that's not Granny's recipe, but um, something to give it a little bit more body and fill it up a little bit. And um, definitely uh, a tomato sauce. In fact, I might even take the whole pepper and then put it in the oven in a tomato sauce and have it braise kind of in the tomato sauce. So you I get like that. a little bit of that flavor and the acidity. I'm turning it from a from an English dish into an Italian dish. I know it's, <laughs> is it, that's, that's the destiny. You're taking me and trying to change me. I'm trying to change you. But trying it, to change me. Quite good, I'm quite impressed. Out of 10. Out of 10, six and a half. I'll take that, very happy with that. Six right. and a half, I'll go, I'm a happy boy. Joe, Italy, mm -hmm. MasterChef, Iron Man, entrepreneur, vineyards, restaurants. 